pathetic. Sussex is facing biggest backfire as public urged to name alleged royal, totally made it up. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex should publicly name the royal they have accused of racism, a poll reveals last week. Most people questioned in the Sunday Express survey also think the couple were right to do the explosive tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. And those quizzed believe Harry and Meghan should sue over any inaccuracies they claim appear in unauthorized biography Finding Freedom. The runaway royals insist they did not cooperate with the authors of the controversial book. Almost two-thirds, 63.1 percent, of those here say the couple should identify the relative they allege asked questions about the color of their unborn baby's skin. In the states, 48 percent said the couple should do so. The survey by One Pulse, the real-time opinion platform, follows last week's claim that Duke and Duchess weighed up identifying the alleged racist during their bombshell TV interview with Oprah Winfrey. It was watched by 12 million people in the UK and 17 million in the US when screened in March. They saw Meghan, tell the chat show Queen that revealing the individual's identity would be very damaging to them. The fallout from the TV special is still raging. But the majority of those polled in both countries do believe the Duke and Duchess were right to do their Oprah interview, 55.4% in Britain and a huge 69.7% in America agree. Respondents to the survey were less divided on whether Harry, 36, and Meghan should take legal action over biography Finding Freedom. They have repeatedly insisted they did not collaborate with authors Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand. Moreover, the question, Harry and Meghan say they did not cooperate with the authors of Finding Freedom. Should they sue over inaccuracies? Drew almost identical results. In the UK 58.5% said they should, in America the figure was 56.9%. Ms Holder said the results on the racism allegations indicate the Duke and Duchess are now challenged to come clean about their remarks which were vague but deeply damaging to the overall reputation of the family. Royal author Margaret Holder said the results were a possible challenge to the pair to come clean. The poll, conducted separately in the UK and US, showed a transatlantic divide. Turning to the responses on the book, Ms Holder said, People are aware of how litigious the couple have become and are puzzled by their reaction to this unauthorized book which somehow contains intimate details of their lives. It stands to reason that only so much information can be obtained by standard methods of investigation such as asking friends and acquaintances and checking public records. How the rest of the book's contents evolved is a mystery. But if the book is inaccurate, the couple have so far avoided their familiar rush to lawyers to defend their privacy and reputation. On the other hand, Meghan and Harry's new edition of Finding Freedom is a stark reminder they hold the power in the royal PR war, a columnist has said. Commentators, including Karen Brady, have said the new edition of the book, out today, reveals nothing new, and stands as a menacing reminder to the palace that more bombshell revelations could be added at any time. Writing for The Sun, Baroness Brady said, in other words, rather than really reveal very much at all, the new chapter in the book, officially unauthorized but written by two people said to have access to Harry and Meghan's closest friends, seeks to tie up loose ends and set records straight. It also serves as a slightly menacing reminder to the royal family that the power of the pen is on the Sussexes' side, and their unauthorized biographers are not afraid to use it. Is the threat of yet another chapter, naming and shaming their various enemies, the omnipresent new threat hanging over Buckingham Palace like a sword of Damocles? It could easily be added. Sword of
people in the UK and 17 million in the US when screened in March. They saw Meghan, tell the chat show Queen that revealing the individual's identity would be very damaging to them. The fallout from the TV special is still raging. But the majority of those polled in both countries do believe the Duke and Duchess were right to do their Oprah interview, 55.4% in Britain and a huge 69.7% in America agree. Respondents to the survey were less divided on whether Harry, 36, and Meghan should take legal action over biography finding freedom. They have repeatedly insisted they did not collaborate with authors Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand. Moreover, the question, Harry and Meghan say they did not cooperate with the authors of Finding Freedom. Should they sue over inaccuracies? Drew almost identical results. In the UK 58.5% said they should, in America the figure was 56.9%. Ms. Holder said the results on the racism allegations indicate that Duke and Duchess are 